Hey hi guys welcome to another video in this particular video we are going to talk about bob suite enterprise edition again i am pretty sure that you might not find every youtuber or maybe very few people would be talking about bob suite enterprise edition uh, the reason being is not everybody get friendly to this particular enterprise edition of bob suite in fact very few people are aware about bob suite enterprise edition because it's for an enterprise not for an individual Right, so I'm going to share my experience working with Bob Suite Enterprise Edition. Again, this particular video is not been sponsored by Portsfigure, or maybe I'm not trying to highlight this particular tool, saying this is the best or something or worst. But I'm, I'm trying to share my own experience working with this Enterprise Edition and uh, try to help you getting to know this particular tool better. Right, so that's the main idea behind this particular channel. So let's get started. Uh, do watch this video till the end. And let me know in the comment box if this particular help you understand some of the key concept in a uh, professional life environment, how does it work and everything. So let me know again if you have any other comment or feedback in the comment section as well. Now to begin with, why does this enterprise edition exist uh, first of all? So enterprise edition is typically for an organization, not for an individual. When I say organization, it's like, let's say there are multiple users, more than 10 or 15 users try to use a bob suite instance so in that particular case you will go for bob suite enterprise edition rather than your uh, normal bob suite standalone or maybe for individual user edition right so again it helps in a broader way let's say you have a team uh, let's say you know you're part of an organization where there are multiple team and uh, you have multiple product or application and they want to individually scan their application because in an organization uh, typically every product goes through a cycle uh, of release or let's say there are few changes done in every cycle and uh, they usually go for uh, republishing the entire product or maybe some part of the product so in that particular case they wanted to evaluate their component whether it is secured or not and that's where in some of the organization they typically use this bob suite uh, enterprise edition so it basically provides control to uh, or helps in an organization to make a security scanning faster right uh, if there is not a huge amount of change in a particular application or a product they typically rely on this uh, enterprise edition now another quick example or another variation would be saying like um, let's say uh, you know you are smart enough i mean your organization is smart enough to train the developer how to use this particular tool or the scanner right so in that particular case when developer directly log into the Bob Suite security scanner and just go ahead and perform a scan of a particular website or maybe their internal product and that's where they get to take advantage of this Bob Suite Enterprise Edition. Now it's completely reconfigurable scanning agent which we will be talking about in slide bit second and yeah it uh, Enterprise Edition support like you know email or Jira connectivity where you get some alert like if something high or critical vulnerability is found. Also, there is like SSO or single sign-on support. Let's say I have logged into my system using my uh, Active Directory credential, then I can also perform this based on the role control like RBAC. This is like you can have the single uh, sign-on control also, right? Now, uh, this is how the enterprise edition looks like. Again, let me copy. So once you go to this particular, let's see your organization.portsvigor.com or something, you have to fill in the user ID password. If it is SSO, then you can directly click on login and that's where you get in access to the internal portal. Now quickly uh, about the another thing is like the API support. If you have enterprise edition, then probably, yeah, it cost around, I guess, uh, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 USD per year, 5,595, quite expensive. And uh, yeah, there are many organizations which are already using integration to the developer support as well as it has their own API, uh, the GraphQL API, um, which typically the developer uses for CI CD pipeline integration, uh, as well as for, you know, making a lot of automation uh, within um, security, like you can have, have configuration, you can have some of the, uh, you know, login credential pass or Jira ticket created for individual issue and everything. So that's how powerful this enterprise edition tool is. Now, if you go to this enterprise edition home page, right, you see the dashboard, right, where you will find uh, all those vulnerability captured by Bob Suite. And uh, these are some of the different application that is being scanned on this particular website, right? There is vulnerable website, 
there is yeah ripin and sans website and many more you could also see a graphical view about different vulnerability and also notice some of the recent scan those are been done so these are some of the resolved issue with time again quite good work done uh, in bob by bob suit for representing various information because usually developers are not configure i mean comfortable with bob suit ui they find it really difficult i don't understand why in most of the cases not everybody again so that's where this particular uh, enterprise edition is really helpful with the ui and also you see the issues where you could find all those issues you can export as well uh, let's say there is one of the issue that is found on uh, yeah cross site scripting right so this is where you get a detail about what is the cross site scripting and uh, yeah where is the what is the request parameter what is the response and why the static analysis stays to be a vulnerability again not always vulnerable all vulnerable to vision confirm issue so it needs slight bit of attention or evaluation for someone to confirm this as a vulnerability enterprise edition does generate some time some of the false positive in fact in more number of false positive yeah so it will also show you live scanning if you have something scanning going on over here uh, again if you have uh, some of the more info important information let's say right uh, if there is some scan failed that didn't went successfully also you have schedule scan where you can schedule a particular time or date where the scan will begin probably usually prefer to weekend based scanning another thing you can also have the completed scan what is the output so yeah this this is supposed to be a small video about bob suit enterprise edition but i tried to give you in depth idea about this particular enterprise edition again let me clearly say you i am not try to market this particular tool or maybe give you uh, sell this particular product but i am trying to say that my experience working with this bob suit enterprise tool or why it is being used so i hope this video would have help you in some way and uh, if you have any question do let me know in the comment box and i will try to answer thanks for watching this video have a great time bye bye